Hey, this is Dr. B with another average atomic mass calculation. Let us consider the hypothetical element Binkowskium. What is Binkowskium? It is a element that has 15 protons. It also has 15 neutrons in this particular fragment of the sample, which is two thirds of it. The rest of it has an extra two neutrons. So, for this hypothetical situation, we would say 0.66 times 30, all right? 66% of it is 30, and so draw a plus sign, 34% of it, 0.34 is 32. It's going to be closer to the 30 than the 32, and when you pull out the math, you'll get 30.68 AMUs. How many neutrons is too many? Well, there is a case where you get too many, as we've said in another slide. 1.5 times as many neutrons as protons is just about all a atom can handle. So this is known as the band of stability. And here's the data that led to this conclusion. People compared the number of neutrons to the number of protons and found that everything was fine until it clicks over the line here. And this is a neutron to proton ratio of 1.5. Five. And when it gets above that, they've been observed to undergo either fission or fusion or otherwise just fall apart. And that's what atoms will do if they have too many neutrons. This is known as the band of stability, and it's pretty easy to come up with a calculation to see it. So if the neutron to proton ratio, just to repeat, is greater than 1.5, that element is unstable and is considered to be radioactive, and isotopes of all the elements above uh, number 82 show this tendency, so you got to watch out for those. They are dangerous. This is average atomic mass and the band of stability.